Hi, Teresa here. I thought I would share with you these mini like CD envelope type things I made. I was inspired by Jeanette over at My Cottage Crafts. She was making the regular size CD size envelopes with uh, tea dyed paper and I'm making some little books so I thought oh let me try to make some little mini ones. So this is what I came up with so I thought I'd share with you. Um, they're going to have a wider side and a smaller side. It just kind of depends on the image or whatever you're going to use inside, whether you want it up or down. Um, I also saw in her video, a totally different video, that she used tool to cover up some things that she was using. And I thought, oh, that really makes it look like a, I don't know, it gives a really nice effect. So on some of these little cards, I put some tool on it. I thought it turned out really nice. So let's, oh, I made it uh, with some different um, scrapbook paper, just some design paper. This other paper that my friend Peggy gave me. Hi Peggy. It's this paper here. It has all these different designs that are like stained and they turn up, they look really cool. So that was that. And then I made one for my daughter's book and just put a little sticker and put her picture in there with my grandbabies. Um, anyway, here we go, I'm gonna share this with you. So to start off, you're gonna need a six by six paper. If you're using a 12 by 12, you can get four of these little envelopes out of one piece of paper, but I'm using a different size. You're gonna need a circle punch I'm using my two and a quarter inch punch. Um, you can use a two inch punch perfectly fine. I did one with my two inch and it just makes a little bit wider sides, but my two inch is one of those that you could put anywhere. Um, and it does work nice. Probably most people have the two inch, but I really like the two and a quarter and it was on sale. So, so you'll need that. You'll need some acetate. And I just used scrap acetate from packaging that I got. That was another inspiration from Jeanette's video is um, she crinkled it up because you know when you're using used acetate, um, it's gonna have flaws, scratches, something, and if you just wrinkle it all up, it just gives a really cool effect and then you don't have little flaws sticking out. So, we're gonna start with our six inch piece of paper. Get my scoreboard. When I'm using cardstock, I really like to use my scoreboard because it makes the edges nice and they're not all cracked when you fold them over. So to start out, let's see what side I like the best. I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna use this. So we're gonna start with a half inch, here we go, and then on the opposite side of the half inch, we want to do an inch and a half, and then one side is going to be an inch and a half, and then the other one, we went just a little bit deeper, so we're going to go an inch and five eighths, so one little mark past the and then I'm gonna mark this side, that this is the short side, because then when you flap them over, it looks nicer, because it's right down the center. So let's go ahead and fold those over. Get my bone folder. I don't like the bone folder that came with this for scoring or anything. I use my little one from uh, my We Are Memory Keepers boards that I have. It's thicker, I like it better. So let's go ahead and get those all folded up. And then we'll fold that side down. And we can get our scoreboard out of the way. Go ahead and cut our circle. I 
just fold that bottom part up, slide it down to the bottom, and usually I can get it pretty centered if I just leave the thing pulled out and just kind of look at my lines and flatten it out. Not too bad, a little off, but not bad. We're gonna save this circle. And let's do a little bit of, a little bit of everybody's favorite thing to watch, inking. We'll do a little bit of distressing, just using my tea dye. so we can form our envelope. So this we want to cut in just a little angle here. Hold a corner and then go a little bit above your line and then just kind of swoop down to that corner. A little bit above that and swoop down. Same thing up here. Just a tiny bit angled in from that line so you make a little flat design. Corner. A little bit there. Same thing below that line and then just kind of swoop up. cut off and do a little more inking on the edges there. Good, but a little more ink. Okay, on the inking here. Then we're going to use that uh, acetate that we wrinkled up. And we'll just, I'll just, um, oh, I'm getting ink all over everything. I'm inking on my board. bottom up and kind of hold the edge. Just go a little bit inside of your folds. And then just use a pencil or something just to mark. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be all inside here. Get up here where you can see me. out there barking. It's so quiet where I live, you can hear everything. I even stopped my clock because it's gonna bong <laughs> if we hit on the hour. And fold that, kind of hold that in spot and then just move out away from our circle. Bone folder and smear that glue out. You can let it glue dry a little bit longer than I'm letting it dry, but you don't want to wait for that. And then fold in your 
inner side. I mark this side. That's the side I want to be on top because then it makes it right down the center. And I'm going to cut, trim that just a little because I don't want to trim them too perfect. Got one more. And a little bit of glue down here on the bottom. And then we're going to glue on this edge because that's the one that's going to be on top. Fold that down. Fold that in. Get that out of the way. And then that's going to be our top. And then you would just use your punch, your uh, circle that you punched out in the beginning. And I like using my little scallop circle. It's an uh, inch and a half. It just makes a cute little design, but you can use any kind of pebbly type thing for the back, whatever you like. so you can see the edges a little better. But on some of them, I made the circle be about half, and then it's kind of hard to get your flap in because it kind of bends it. So just put it just a little, maybe like a quarter, a quarter of an inch, and then I just hold it on there and then you could see where you actually need to glue. So you're not kind of guessing after the fact. And then you can fold it back in. Done. Get that nice and centered, sort of. bit off on my center but you can take your time and get a little centered centered a little bit better and then you can just decorate them with whatever you like um like this little one I put a flower and some tool and a little uh, label there some labels on it I just got a new printer so I'm printed out a bunch of labels I got these from uh, Tracy oh I'll put it down in the description I know it's Fox, Tracy Fox. <laughs> and they look real cute. So you could decorate them however you want. And they'd be cute in any journal, just as a little one. You could put them in a pocket because they're nice, cute little size. So there you have it. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.